After creating a primer pair for your region of interest, you may want to edit one of your primers, and there are several ways to do this. In general, the editing mode that you're in is controlled by these buttons here at the top of the primer design view. And just like with anything in Seek Builder, any edits that you make to your primer are immediately reflected in all of the other views, as well as in the supporting information that you see for your primer, like the melting temperature, the primer and product length, and the quality score for the primer pair. So the default editing mode is selection mode, which is represented by this arrow cursor. And when you're in selection mode, you can modify any base in the primer just by clicking on it and then typing in the new nucleotide character. And when you do that, the edited nucleotide, as well as the resulting changes in translation and any restriction sites that were introduced by the change, are all shown in magenta. Now, if there's a restriction enzyme whose recognition site is eliminated by an edit, like if I change this base here, those enzymes are shown in blue. And those colors are the same for any edits that you make in this view. Now the other way you can edit while in selection mode is to change the primer length. And you can do that by grabbing one of these handles on the ends of the primer. And you can just drag it in either direction. You can also modify your primer by introducing a codon change or mutation. And to do that, we need to switch to codon change mode by clicking on this button here. And you can see we now have a different cursor and it's now selecting one codon at a time rather than each individual base. And when you click on a codon, you'll see two groups of options listed. At the top, there's a list of alternate codons that are available for a silent mutation. And underneath that, I can see a list of amino acids that are available for a non-silent mutation. So I'm going to go ahead and select GIC. And again, you can see that the changes I just made are shown here in magenta. The final editing mode available is restriction site mode, and you can access that by clicking on the scissor icon here. Once I'm in this mode, I can introduce a restriction site by clicking between the residues where I want to introduce the site and selecting an enzyme from the list provided. You'll notice that the enzymes are organized into three groups based on whether they are silent or non-silent substitutions or if they introduce a stop. In the non-silent group, you'll see a couple of additional lists, uh, one for enzymes that don't cut the product and another for any enzyme. And here's a little hint, when you see long lists of enzymes like this and you're looking for a particular one, just type in the first letter of the enzyme you're looking for and it will automatically jump to that letter in the list.